Hi there guys and welcome back to Slash Football. I'm the Peaky Pundit and I'm joined by Pav. And with the 2019-20 Premier League season underway, we've made five brave predictions. So whether you agree or disagree with us, jump into the comment section below. Pav, let's go. Chelsea will finish outside of the top six. With the transfer ban that was in place, an inexperienced manager in charge and losing Eden Hazard to Real Madrid, it seems that like Chelsea will be up against it this season. Where will the goals come from? We expect Frank Lampard to utilise a lot of his youth players this season uh, and this could backfire on him. With other clubs making significant signings and squad improvements, Chelsea have had to pretty much stick with what they've got. I've got nothing left! I've got nothing left! We expect it to be Manchester City, Liverpool and Spurs for the top three spots. Manchester United and Arsenal for fourth and fifth. With Leicester and West Ham just behind them, it could be a very tough season for Chelsea and Frank. Hey Chelsea Football Club, why you so little as that? Why you so little as that? What is this? Alexis Sanchez will show Manchester United fans the blazing form he once had at Arsenal. With only five goals in 45 appearances, the pressure is on Sanchez to perform this season. With Solskjaer implementing an attacking and fluid style of play, this should suit Sanchez down to a T. Solskjaer is the type of manager who will put his arm around a player, something Sanchez probably didn't receive from Jose Mourinho. Let's not forget Sanchez is still only 30 years old. If he can show 50% of the form he once showed at Arsenal, the goals and assists will come. Do whatever you like. You are not getting Alexis Sanchez. Can I be any more clearer than that? Wolves will finish in the lower half of the table. With many pundits tipping Wolves to finish inside the top six, we believe we'll see a similar situation to what we saw with Burnley. Two years ago, Burnley finished seventh in the table. However, in the following season, the demands of the Europa League fixtures put a dent in their progression as they ended the season in 15th spot. With the fixture combinations of Thursdays and Sundays, we believe this will be too much for Nuno Santos' side. It really will test their squad depth. This is going to be a good opportunity to see what they're really made of. Competing in the Premier League is very hard, very hard, and we must know where we came from. We, last season we were playing against Burton, with all my respects, and now we are here. Tango Endombele will become the Premier League's number one midfielder. With impressive stats for passes into the final third, tackles, take-ons and recoveries, he really made a name for himself in his final season at Lyon. An absolute powerhouse of a midfielder, still young at the age of 22, his stats definitely speak for themselves. We believe he'll have the Kante effect for Spurs and boss the middle of the park, both defensively and supplying the attack. Keep an eye out for this box-to-box -box midfielder. Manchester City will break their own record of 106 goals scored in a single Premier League season. They broke this record two seasons ago and scored 95 goals last season. Pep will know that Liverpool will push them to the very end this season and he won't want this title decided by one point again or even possibly goal difference this time around. And you can expect Manchester City to be absolutely ruthless against a lesser opposition in the league. <laughs> This, as well as having Kevin De Bruyne potentially fit for the entire season, uh, will be a massive advantage to them. In addition to De Bruyne, we've got players flourishing under Pep, such as Raheem Sterling, Bernardo Silva, and not to mention the new signing in Rodri. Expect a lot of attacking threat from Manchester City this season. Right then, Pav, that's our five. Do you think they're going to come back to bite us? Of course not, Fiki. <laughs> but um, look, these are some brave predictions and uh, it's going to be very intriguing to see how they play out throughout the season. Definitely. And guys, we'd love to get your predictions on these as well. Absolutely. Drop us a comment on the video as to who you think the top scorers in the season might be, which signings are going to flop and uh, which three teams you think might get relegated. We'd be, we'd be very interested to find out. Guys, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Slash Football and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, for any of you Manchester United fans out there, check out the Peaky Pundit channel for all of your matchday previews, vlogs and post-match fan cams. Uh, and also, check us both out on Instagram.